Hello and welcome to a new video about electrochromatic. This time we want to have a look into a valve, yeah? a typical valve construction. Well, again, it's not a construction, it's just a working principle that you see how it's basically working inside. I've tried to draw something like this yeah? and I want to show you. We only will do one example of one valve, there are several different things out there. This is a typical example of a sliding valve. Okay, Sliding valve, uh, typical of electromagnetic operated things are those coils. Yeah? They are inside a casing here. Yeah? These are the coils which will move. And if you see something like that, that the coil has a slight offset to the valve body, then it's probably because it's a pre-controlled valve. Yeah? So the valve itself well, looks how it looks, <laughs> let's, let's say. Yeah? Uh, I have not drawn any, any connectors or something like this. Yeah? Usually there are some there are connectors where we can, can electrically connect to the spool, yeah? to the coil. I have not drawn this, so, uh, well, uh, to see how it is working, we cut this thing open, okay, let's see, what shall we exclude from our, from our cut, I will exclude this thing here, I will, and these parts over there, I'm going to have it drawn that we also have a look inside there. Okay, looks good. Okay, so this is how this might look inside or somehow how it's, how it's looking inside. This middle part here, yeah, this part where the action happens, yeah, this is pretty much the same part as we already discussed in a previous video about a 5-3 way, this is a 5-3 way valve, all right? This is a 5-3 way valve. And if we are moving this coil, we can open, we can open or close paths through the valve, okay? And this here checks the middle position, this part here. Okay, this, this is the, 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 the spring which will center the piston inside there. And here we see there are two pistons, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side, and those two pistons, they are uh, the pneumatically operated. So this is a pneumatically operated 5-3-way um, valve here. This is the core element. How it is pneumatically operated differs now. We do not, do not have just here the connectors. We see these connectors, they are no longer going inside this chamber, so this is not the control connector. This is also labeled with 8.4 and 8.2, so these are the connectors who for exhaust valve, uh, for the exhaust control valve. And here we have a new hole at the top of this. Uh, this new hole, this is actually uh, the power supply of the pre-control stage. Let's have a look at the pre-control stage. Well, there is, there is something, some sealing which is pressed against the hole. Here the pressure, here the pressure is coming, yeah? and this is sealing. Yeah? This part all belongs together. This is, uh, this is the actuator, actually. Yeah? So this is ferromagnetic. This will be attracted by this coil. Here is the coil. If we have a look at the other end of this, yeah? here there's the coil and it is located around the casing and the and here this this part which is sucked in is inside okay usually like I said we have here electrical connectors at the top or at the side or something like this and this is how this looks like inside huh? and the coil can easily be replaced you just have to remove this cover put another coil in so the other coil is then for a different voltage for a different Easy, right? So let's stay further at this side here. Yeah? 
So once we turn on here current, we will have a electromagnetic field, electric magnetic field, and this magnetic field will then suck this this part into the field, into the coil. Okay. So what is happening actually there yeah, is that here this is opened. Yeah? So the pressure can now get inside here, get inside here, get inside here, and this will move. All right. So this is now operated. Great. Yeah? Great. Once we remove power here again, yeah, electrical power, the spring will shift this and close this. Okay. So this is no longer, this is no longer open here. Pressure cannot get to here. How do we get rid of the pressure? The pressure is now in those small channels. Yeah? It's now reaching this part and here we are going down and where is this leading? Oh, to the exhaust hole. So this will allow this to relieve the pressure again and we will move again to the middle position. That's it. I mean, the trick is happening here. Here you have some material which is attracted by a magnetic field. Here you have a coil which is producing a magnetic field. This material is sucked into the magnetic field and that's it actually. All right. And what's this thing here? This thing here is hand operation. So this is, this is hand operation. This is a little knob. I can press it with my hand and also open this. I can do this because I really do not need a lot of force because uh, it's a tiny valve here. Huh? It's a tiny valve, it's a tiny hole, so there are not a lot of, of uh, forces necessary. Yeah? So this is hand operation. Even without electric power, I can operate this valve. And the springs will then bring them then back again. Yeah. This is a typical design of a pneumatic valve. Hydraulic valves, small hydraulic valves, those those things usually directly operate the, the coils, yeah? because they are very well lubricated and so on. So the coils in hydraulic valves are, are easier to, to move, so we can this you can see if the coils are obviously in line with the coil inside, then it's directly operated. If they have an offset like here, then there is somewhere a pre-control stage. There are also big hydraulic valves or pre-control valves, of course. Then, yeah, then we also have a pre-control stage there. Yeah? Simply to prevent that this coil needs to be big. Yeah? Shall be a small coil and this shall operate this, this valve. Huh? So this here is a 3-2 way valve, a 5-3 way valve, a 5-3 way valve pre with pre-control stage, where the pre-control stage can also be operated by hand and usually is operated by current, uh, by electricity, via a magnetic field. Uh, that's one example of a valve. And basically, all other valves look, I mean, they have other, other main stages and so on. <sighs> They're working. You should understand the working principle and that's fine, I guess. Uh, and I hope I've reached this with my little presentation here. Okay, well, that's it for that video. Next videos we will deal how to select valves. Interesting topic also. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.